Hi everybody, it's Brooks Forster. We're at the Vanity Fair pre-Oscar party, benefiting the Regional Food Bank of Oklahoma. Okay, okay, so uh, it's back for second season. What's yes. the name again? The Carmichael Show. Okay, and tell me a little bit about The Carmichael Show. So The Carmichael Show is on NBC. It's coming back March 13th, which I believe is Sundays. Sundays at 9 p.m. It's, um, it's a sitcom, multicam, like family, but it's got that old Norman Lear feel. Like it's very all in the family-esque. Okay. Like it's very topical. Everything we talk about is kind of something that's going on in the world. Current now. events. Current event, current conversation. But the whole point is that the show is a conversation. So very long scenes that play out where you're getting all sorts of points of view and everyone's kind of battling to, to make their point of view heard. Um, and my character is kind of like the liberal point of view. And then like there's... Um, What's your character's name? I, I play Maxine. On the show. So the show is about Drod Carmichael, who is a stand-up comedian in real life, but not on the show. Um, but it's based on him and his own family. So he's got um, his parents and one brother, um, which he also has in real life. This is all real. So that, that part's real. So it's be called real talk. The girlfriend part's not real. Um, <laughs> but basically, uh, it's kind of based on his stand-up. So it's very, like, topical. And, um, and he's always kind of kind of challenging everyone's point of views and then we all have kind of conversations about it so we actually did an episode that's coming out I think maybe our first or second week um, all about um, our fallen heroes aka Bill Cosby so like, okay you know which is you know something that's happening that's a, that's a hard topic exactly right? and we talk about a lot of like hard topics our first season we did one that's about Black Lives Matter um, we did one all about religion we did one about transgender um, the one we're working on this week is uh, about gentrification. So we and you guys cover the gamut of taboo, and not necessarily taboo, but like difficult topics. Absolutely. So the whole point of our show is that we're saying what people are really actually saying in their own living rooms yeah. and putting it on TV. Okay, so I was once on The Bachelorette like two and a half years ago. Nice. And so I, I engage in Twitter on yes. Monday nights, hashtag The Bachelor, Bachelor Nation. And it's amazing <laughs> because you get... You get real conversations that are happening as people are watching yes. it. Do does the Carmichael's or is it the Carmichael's, right? The Carmichael show. The Carmichael show. Do they do that as well? Like are you live tweeting while the show Sunday night at I nine think PM? They're gonna encourage us to do that this season. We didn't really do that last season. Um, but I think because of the conversation of our show, I think that's a really um, smart angle for us to kind of engage for with sure. the audience. So I I would like to try to do that. Yeah. Cool. I, Whatever NBC tells me to do. I'm really excited about that. So I want to know one last question before we get back into the party is, did, how did that come about for you? Did you audition for that role? Was it a pilot? That, and, and that's how it came. And did you do multicam before? So two questions. Yes. Sorry yes. about that. So I have done a little bit of multicam before, but it's all guest star kind of stuff. Okay. Um, but I auditioned for the part, just like you know I normally do for all roles. Um, I had met Gerard before. Um, he had a deal with NBC in the past. And I met him like auditioning for that back then. And then we have some friends in common and kind of kept in touch a little bit. But then he kept me in mind, I believe, when he was redoing the script for this incarnation of the show. And I uh, auditioned and got it. Amazing. Does, yeah. does that come naturally to you, multicam, or is that a challenge for you as an actress? Um, it's still a little bit of a challenge, but I'm also surrounded by such amazing talent. I mean, like David Allen Greer is on our show and Loretta Devine, who are veterans. So it's... It's uh, I, I have to like making it my easier, game, but it makes it a little easier to get to like right. be surrounded by such amazing talent. So watching your friend here on television, do you see her as your friend or as the actress, or are you like, oh, that's totally her? Sometimes. Oh, <laughs> friend foremost and always will be, yeah. But as an actress, do you sometimes like, see you tendencies? And you're like, ew, why is Amber being weird? No, or, you or like, is oh, it that's so I Amber? Transform like an actress. You know, it's. Yeah, of course there's a transformation and it is a really hard question, but... The That's what I'm here for, just following <laughs> suit with the show's premise. You know, that she was born to be on this show. It is really the way she really is. That's really exciting. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. A, little, a little bit. There's a gotta, lot of myself in this in character. A lot so it's NBC it. Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Yes. That's Thanks right. so much, Amber. Thank you. We really appreciate it. All right, have fun at the party. Television right now. It really it is. It really is. It, like, no it's exaggeration. It's what people really <laughs> talk about at home, but are too afraid to talk about out in... That's true. Yeah. They can't okay. hide behind the screen anymore. That's right. It's coming out. Not anymore. All right. Yeah. Well, I love you guys. So is that too early? Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a quick thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and in the comments below, tell us your favorite charity.